Okay, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Montana and today we're actually testing out the setup for the RMAC 2021 and I just have this one tethered to the air gun so it's a little bit different of a setup than on the actual competition but yeah otherwise as you can see I have the backrest and the front rest there and uh, otherwise this is now all ready to go to the competition so so yeah now this is all set up I actually got on this one the Bushnell Match Pro uh, scope it's 6 to 24 by 50 if I remember correctly and uh, I got the FX no limit scope rings adjustable. I got the uh, Walter Lothar barrel, which is a custom length, 30 inches long. And then the BT65 air cylinder, it has 255 cc capacity on it. And then the tube is regulated with the Humair regulator. And I also got a Nova Star hammer spring on this one, and we're about two and a half turns from zero. So yeah, let's have a look what it does, and uh, let's start shooting. And we're using the FX 18.1 grain pellets on this test. I already shot it with the uh, Air Arms 18.1 grain pellets, and we have the the uh, five targets that I shot five shots shots each about. And uh, I just wanted to test out which of these projectiles is the best for going into the RMAC competition. And of course, I don't have any scope cam, so I'm sorry, I, you can't see it on real time what's happening there. And I forgot my uh, second camera at home, but I won't stop the video so we can actually go then and see. Uh, what was happening there on the target and 25 shots I'll do a couple of ciders first and then we'll start to shoot the targets and of course this is a little bit different of a setup because I had have this tethered but uh, yeah that's just to save some time I've already been shooting about 500 rounds today so I didn't want to want to be filling it up and be gassing it every once in a while so yeah let's get some ears in and start shooting so I'll do a couple of ciders first just to see where we are going with the holdovers and how much is it actually uh, How much is it actually actually needing needing a hold over so okay. well, let's let the barrel also a little bit I was shooting shooting the uh Barracuda match 21 grainers. So I'm now zeroed also a little far away.
this is all the way up. Yeah, let's see you down. Okay, now we're in the range, so let's start shooting the uh, targets and hope, hope that we hit them. So... Okay, so now we got a little bit of shots on the target and I do feel that uh, the Air Arms 18.1 grain pellets were a little bit better on this barrel, but we'll have to look at the numbers in more detail. Detail uh, and then decide what projectile we're bringing in into the competition. It seems to be that uh, at least I feel that it was more, a little bit more consistent. The 
shots. But, yeah. Let's keep on uh, do a little bit of a uh, siding in again. Then the last five shots. Do a siding shot. Yeah. Now the question is, did I have 25 shots or not? Maybe I'll do one more and see. So it's the bottom target that I know, I'm unsure that if I already shot five, but, oh well. Okay, well, you know, let's go and have a look. to be that we're pretty freaking consistent now with the uh, with the shots uh, or the speed sorry not the shots the speed is more likely and it really does seem that the polygon or barrel likes all the pellets almost I would say it's a little bit picky with the Barracuda Hunters or oh, match that I was shooting for some reason either there's a lot of Ryans on the pellets that I was shooting or then the head sizes are different or something like that it's it's really weird you can get like four shots within a half an inch and then the fifth shot goes like you know all over so frustrating you would have to like calm down calm over all of the uh, pellets, check the head sizes and weight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Really, don't know what's wrong with them. But the 18 grainers seem to be quite nice. It seems to be liking it. So one, two, three, four, five. So I did do the five shots, and here you can see one, two, three, four, five. 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 And I think this was the second uh, five shots that I did, and it was a little bit like pushing the wind. So it's coming like from front, front right side. It's like on a 30 degree angle, the wind. So it was a little bit difficult to try to figure out the holdover but here you can see that you know it's really promising promising results there's a bullseye some good results two bullseyes oh holy moly is it three no it's just yeah it's two and i did do the five shots here so 
that's pretty impressive stuff so I'll actually take this with me and I'll show the uh, Air Arms 18.1 grain pellets also that I shot and let's do a little bit of comparison so yeah let's take this with us holy moly so yeah it was actually pretty interesting to shoot the Air Arms so I have one lot of air arms uh, 18 grainers and uh, I wanted to compare them between the FX and then the air arms and then decide what projectile I'm gonna use and it would seem that the uh, FX is more consistent on the speed but the air arm seems to be uh, maybe a little bit more accurate so yeah let's have a look so so here you can see the uh, air arms I had pretty good results with the air arms also so here you can see I shot six on this one six and five and then five and then five so I would probably say that The FX is better. So here are the five shots that I had here. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, overall result would be would be on this one that the FX is better. So you can already see we got two one bullseye niner, two bullseyes eight. We got their eights and nines, and here we got eights and nines. And one miss, second miss, third miss, and fourth miss. And here we can see on the air arm side that there is one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. But of course, I have to admit that the uh, the weather was a little bit trickier with the air arms, but yeah, I would still pick the uh, FX pellets to the RMAC competition. But yeah, there you have it. A little bit of a sneak peek what I have. And yeah, let's still go over a little bit. So I'm rocking the uh, Donnie FL Tatsu moderator. Got the Bushnell Match Pro. And then the bigger air cylinder BT65, both the loss of barrel, internals worked. And then I have a front rest. This is a Bald Eagle front rest with protector bag. And then on the back, we got a heavy bag, a protector heavy bag. So, yeah, I hope this gave a little bit of a more information, and see you on our Mac.